Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be reviewing and using the new Lunar Beauty palette, Eternal Eclipse. So I have my Duncan here with me. It's a gingerbread latte. I'm living my best. And I decided let's just jump right into it. Oh, it is so pretty. I When I saw this palette, my heart like jumped it is so gorgeous i have strawberry dream which i guess is kind of the sister palette to this and that just together they look gorgeous so they have very different color schemes the first one is a lot of pink a lot of bright colors shiny colors this palette is very gorgeous especially for the summer and spring i love this palette but in this new eternal eclipse palette which this is the back by the way and this is the front if we open it up I haven't even swatched it yet. I'm leaving to do this for this video. This is so gorgeous. Immediately my eye goes to these three shades. These two blues, they're like dark, like navy blues. Night sky shade, it kind of reminds me of the sequin shade in the Tati Beauty palette, but we'll see how it compares. And then this shade also pops out to me. I had something like most of these shades in my Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions palette, but I recently decluttered it because I didn't love the quality as much as I had hoped. And I saw this palette was coming out, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this one and replace it with this. And this is like 10 times better. So I'm excited to use this palette today and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. Video. So I thought today we would start out by doing an eye look using this palette and then we would do some swatches and then maybe I'll compare a few of these shades to other shades in my collection but we'll see how this video goes but I'm very excited to be using this palette and Lunar Beauty is definitely becoming one of my favorite indie brands so I am so excited to see what they come out with in the future but for now let's see what this is all about. Okay so I'm going to put my hair back with my little ears and it's time to get started. I recently decided, this is so off topic, that I want to grow my hair long again. I just missed it, so that's just a random thought I had. I, as I was doing this, I was like, oh, I wish I had long hair. Let's jump in to this. As always, I'm going to go in with my P. Louise eyeshadow primer in the shade Rumor 2. I'm just going to put this a little drop on each eyelid. These mountains have texture to them that is so cool. But anyway, this moon is gorgeous. I'm like obsessed with the packaging. And then you open it and you're like, this is exactly what I would expect. When I see this and I open it, I am not disappointed at all. This is exactly what I would expect and it's exactly what I wanted. So I am very happy about this. So let's think of what we wanna do today. I'm not really going anywhere. It's the day before Thanksgiving. So I'm not doing anything tonight. So I can go a little crazy with it. And I'm wearing like this black bodysuit and just some sweatpants. So I can really do whatever I want with this look. I think I want to do some silvery blue stuff. So I think for my first step, I'm going to go in with Rose Thorn. I haven't even watched any reviews on this palette yet. I didn't even watch Manny's video yet, so I'm going in completely blind, which honestly might be the way to go. I won't have anything like preconceived notions or anything like that. So I'm going to go in with Rose Thorn. I wonder where he came up with the idea for Rose Thorn. That doesn't like scream moon or eclipse to me, but maybe it's like something that like I don't understand. I don't know. Okay, so right off the bat... Do you see pigment? One downside between this palette and Strawberry Dream is that Strawberry Dream smells like strawberries and this one doesn't smell like anything. But I mean, like, what were they gonna have it smell like? I feel like, if they were to have this palette smell like anything, it should smell like, like raspberries or like something dark or chocolate. It'd be so good. I, I really love Manny's brand. I think the packaging is so unique and the quality is so good. And I'm like desperate to try one of his glosses. I didn't want to get the whole collection just because I don't need more brushes. I'm getting some for Christmas anyway. And I didn't need a new liquid lipstick. I just really want to try one of his glosses because I hear like amazing things about them. So maybe I'll do that because I'm sure he'll have some type of Black Friday sale. So maybe I'll pick something up. We have that all blended in. It's just, just for my crease shade. I think it looks nice. It's very subtle, so if you can't really see it, it's okay, but yeah. Next, I'm going to go in with the shade Smoke, which is this gray shade. And I'm just going to put this in the crease. Oh my gosh, this is so pigmented. I was not expecting this. I don't have any gray shades in any of my palettes, or at least any gray shades that look like this. I don't think I have any come to think of it 
I'm gonna try to do like a, a pseudo halo eye because I'm not good at them. A low effort halo eye just because I'm feeling it. And these shades, rose thorn and smoke just like blend into each other so nicely. What did you guys do for Thanksgiving? I'm gonna go back in with rose thorn and just blend the two together. Did you guys do anything special for Thanksgiving? <laughs> filming this the day before i know i already said that but i don't know when i'll be posting this i think it'll be like a couple of weeks after thanksgiving but i hope you guys had a happy thanksgiving <laughs> next i'm gonna go in with this dense brush and i'm gonna go in with lagoon just to add a little bit more depth and add some blue into the look I just finished watching the new season of The Crown with my mom and I didn't realize it was going to end on the 10th episode so like when the episode ended I was like oh my gosh I can't wait for the next one like what's going to happen and then the whole season ended and I was like rude <laughs> I want to know what happens I thought like it would be Diana's entire story in the season but I guess not I wonder how far into today they're going to go I wonder if they're going to follow it all the way to like today like with like Harry and Meghan Markle and everyone oh I'm just going back in with this just to blend everything together I know like this topic is like very sensitive to especially to a lot of people especially those who are from england and from the uk at least here in the us we have a conspiracy that the royal family is behind or was behind princess diana's death and i haven't watched enough documentaries or read up on it enough to like have my own formulated opinion but i just want to know like do you guys have any idea of what you think happened to her I love researching, not like conspiracies, but like kind of of celebrities' deaths. I think Tupac and Biggie are alive and living in Cuba. <laughs> I think that, and I'm not joking. Or at least, I think Tupac's alive and living in Cuba. Not so sure about Biggie. Um, I think that Kurt Cobain was killed and, and Courtney Love orchestrated it and got her little boy toy to orchestrate it. JFK, I think JFK's assassination was orchestrated by LBJ. <laughs> I've watched a lot of documentaries and like read a lot of articles about these things and that's how I came to the conclusion. I haven't really dove into Princess Diana's case, not case, but death yet and I'm interested to do it now. So this is what we have now. My Christmas tree was just delivered so give me one moment I'm gonna go get it. Okay so our Christmas tree came and it's so pretty and I'm very excited to decorate that. That will also probably be in a video coming soon so next i want to do a shimmer shade originally i was going to go in with deep sea but i think i'm going to go in with meteor and then top it off with adamantium adamantium it's like purpley almost okay so this is what we have so far i'm just going to add a little bit more of meteor on top of my left eye for some reason it's not as like shiny and pretty as my right eye if I'm being honest, Meteor is a really pretty shade, but it's not as pigmented as I was expecting it to be based on the swatches that I've seen on Instagram, but I mean, it is still really pretty. So next, I'm going to go in with Adamantium. I really hope I'm saying that right. That is metallic. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh my God. I'm in shock. I'm in Oh wow. Do you hear me? I'm like, wow. This is so crazy beautiful. So far, I'm very impressed by this palette. This was exactly what I wanted it to be. This was exactly what I wanted it to be. Same with this and this. Lagoon, Smoke, Rose Storm, and Adamantium are exactly what I wanted them to be. I am a little bit not disappointed but let down by meteor um it is this really purpley pretty purpley shimmery shade but it's not as pigment the base isn't as pigmented as i would have liked it to be but it's still really pretty it's just not exactly what i thought i was getting i think this look turned out so beautiful I'm going to pop on some eyeliner so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to clean up the base pop on some eyeliner foundation do the rest of my face and then i will be back and we will do some swatches okay so i finished my makeup i added a wing and i put on my foundation and bronzer blush all of that and this is the final makeup look I love how the look turned out. It is so, like, this silver adamantium is, like, something, like, I've never seen before. I'm so happy that I got rid of my so smoky obsessions by Huda Beauty and got this palette to replace it because 
this is amazing if you just want a smoky cool toned but also kind of warm toned because a smoky cool toned but also kind of warm toned palette get this if you just need like a basics palette with some beautiful shimmers this is the way to go and i'm pretty sure this was 48 dollars, not including shipping or taxes so it is on the higher end of the prices but i don't regret this at all and this is one of those palettes that it's just a staple and it has so many awesome neutrals and i just i feel like if you're just getting into makeup but you want to like dip your toes in the smoky eye realm i would definitely get this because it's blendable it's beautiful and you can't really go wrong. Love this palette. I think it's worth the money and the packaging just brings it to an even more beautiful point. So, you know, not only are you getting amazing quality shadows, but you're also getting this beautiful packaging. So I think the price point is perfect. Enough about that. It is now time to swatch. So I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and let's get to swatching. I'm gonna, instead of going across the rows, I think I'm gonna do by columns. So we're gonna start with flare, then go to dusk and then starry eyed. This is not as bright as I was expecting it to be. Oh no, but that it swatches really pretty. I mean, this color is so buttery, but it's not as bright as I was expecting based on the pan, but it is just like a really pretty champagne gold. Okay, so next we're going in with Dusk, which is this nice crease shade. This is like a light tan, a warm tan. Swatching this in the pan, it feels like butter. It is so soft and creamy. I just, the formula is amazing. Okay, now we're going in with Starry Eyed, which is this black shimmery shade. Ooh, oh, that's cool. This is pretty. This kind of reminds me of the metallic in the Tati Beauty palette. Oh, that is so pretty. I really like that. That'll look nice for a smoky eye. Okay, so that is the first column. We already know we love this shade, but Adamantium. I barely dip in when I swatch, so that's why I kind of have to go in a few times. Just, that is crazy. That is so crazy. This shade does have a little bit of fallout if you if you put too much on your finger or your brush, but honestly, I think it's amazing. Okay, so next, let's go in with Rose Thorn. This is what I used in my crease. Ooh, yeah, this is a really nice neutral toned taupe. I wouldn't say this is too cool. I think this is pretty much neutral. I go over it a couple times just because I go in light when I do a first swatch, but this is, that's Rose thorn and next we're going in with smoke i used this in my crease to give it some dimension i suck at swatching so apologies but this rose thorn just a really nice gray it's almost it's like a graphite gray and next is meteor this is the one i wasn't like completely thrilled about but it's still good it has this really nice purpley undertone almost to it but the base isn't as pigmented as i had originally hoped it does have it does have a lot of really nice sparkle to it sandstorm again these mattes are just butter completely butter so that's sandstorm and next is deep sea Ooh, look at that that's cool Ooh, oh my gosh I'm so excited to use this palette. Holy crap. That is gorgeous. I'm loving these swatches. I think that the color story of this palette is just so unique and beautiful. I don't know why anyone would think this palette is boring because I'm so excited by this palette, but I guess to each their own. Okay, next, this is Gold Dust. Ooh. It has like a green base. Next is Summer Sky. Ooh. This is like a red undertoned brown. If I'm being honest, I could have gone without one of these colors. I don't need all of these like brown creasy shades, but I wish there was like, instead of one of these, I wish there was a light gray, like a lighter gray than this, but that's just me being picky. I still love this palette. So next we're going to go in with Lagoon, which I used this in my outer V. <gasps> Look how dark that is. Okay so soft these shades are just so soft i don't know if there's a difference between the formula of these middle mattes and these two that's how it is in strawberry dream too these are all mattes and then there's like a couple other mattes but like i think they're different formulas so i don't really know what the difference is like i said i haven't watched manny's video yet so maybe i'll get the answer in that when i eventually watch it this is our last column this is Desert Sky, and this is like a nice bronzy color. Oh wow, that is gorgeous. That went on like butter. Oh my gosh. 
Gold Dust is more green than Desert Sky. Honestly, Gold Dust kind of reminds me of Dirty Money in the Dose of Colors palette. Next is Earthbender. This is so nice. That's a really nice brown. Honestly, it is. Um, I do have other browns like that in my collection, but the formula is really nice, so. Okay, we're on to the last color, and it is this Night Sky shade. I don't know if you can see the shift in it in this in the video, but wow, that is just gorgeous. Okay, here we go. I wonder if this is gonna be like the Tati Beauty one. You can like really see the shimmers in it even when you just swatch it like with Tati you kind of have to like press it down because that is so pretty here are the colors in the palette and here are all of them swatched so I'm just gonna go over the colors once again this is flare this is dusk this is starry eyed this is adamantium this is rose thorn smoke meteor Sandstorm, Deep Sea, Gold Dust, Summer Sky, Lagoon, Desert Sky, Earthbender, and Night Sky. This palette is just so pretty and if you had any thoughts of like, oh should I get it or not, is the quality good, is it worth it, I say go ahead and do it. Unless you have all of these shades, then I probably have a few, a good amount of these shades in my collection. With something about having them all in one palette, it just made it so appealing. And the formula is amazing. I love Lunar Beauty's formula. And of course, you know, I loved Manny, Manny and the packaging is beautiful. And I do go to my boyfriend's house on the weekends. So even though I'm not like traveling, traveling, I do bring stuff with me and bring makeup with me. So this will be a good travel palette even though I'm not traveling, so don't come for me. So these are the swatches. These are gorgeous. All in all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed filming it. I love this palette. I think it is definitely worth the purchase if you're thinking about it. But I hope that the swatches of the palette and using the palette for this look was helpful in deciding whether or not you wanted it. Um, but this is the final look. And I'm so happy I bought this palette. Congratulations, Manny. Keep making these killer palettes. I'm in love with your packaging. Keep it up. You are one of the more different brands out there, which is so rare in this community. A lot of palettes are turning out the same, but I just feel like every product you've come out with has been unique and all your own. So congratulations, Manny. And thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.